Bonjour tout le monde and welcome back to Naya Studios. In today's video is going to be a full body workout. Really quick but very efficient. So if you're ready, let's jump on our mats and let's begin. All right friends, let's begin. Roll all the way down on your mat, center yourself top to bottom and side to side. Fold the roll over, bring your legs overhead. Flex your feet, open your legs. Shoulder distance apart, begin to roll down on your mat, connect your leg in the center and go overhead again. Stretch your legs as much as you can, articulate your spine, connect in the center, bring your leg overhead, open, roll down, keep your legs straight, connected in the center, bring it overhead, keep going with this motion, keep on pressing into your palms and reverse. Go overhead, legs open. Now close your legs in the center, begin to roll down and keep going, open your legs overhead. Articulate bone by bone in the mat. Flex your feet overhead, close your legs together and peel your back on the mat. One last time. Keep breathing, beautiful articulation in the back. Bend your knees into your chest and let's go for the shoulder bridge. Lift one leg to the ceiling as straight as you can. Flex your feet, lower your hips, and now lower the leg knee to knee. And again, lower the hip, push up, and lower the leg. Make sure that your knee, your hip, and your shoulder are in one line when you're on the top of your shoulder bridge. And again, lift your hips up, lower the leg, and beautiful. Now, 10 little pulses up, up, that's it. Keep the fire under your glutes active and lower the leg with control. Let's go with the other side. Dip down and stretch up, lower knee to knee. As you do that, make sure that your chin is away from your chest, that you're putting equal force in your shoulders and press in the palm of your hands. Beautiful. And last one, go ahead now, little pulses up, up, that's it. Squeeze your glutes, press in your palm, and reach up, up, and lower all the way down, bone by bone. And let's move on to the double victory. Go back in your shoulder bridge, bring your arms to the ceiling, lift your heels up. Open your knees, open your arms in a V position and come back center. You're gonna feel less stability in this position as only your shoulder, head, and ball of the feet are connected to the mat. So make sure to really engage your core and equal force, equal strength as we open and when you close. That's it, beautiful. You should feel now under your glutes, the activation in your core, in your lower back. And keep going like this with the resistance in the center and the control when you open out. And give me one more and roll down bone by bone. Beautiful, guys. Let's move on to the boomerang. It's definitely one of our most advanced movements, so make sure you have room behind you. Cross one leg on top of the other and bring your feet overhead, palms by your side. Now, switch and unswitch your legs. Go all the way up into your teaser position, palm face towards you, elbows behind you. Now, stretch your chest up, lower your legs as you lower your head towards your knees. Circle your arms around towards your feet and begin to roll to the mat as you bring your leg overhead. On cross, other leg in front. Begin to roll down, get into your teaser position, proud chest, flip your palms, elbows by your side, reach behind, open your chest as you lower your leg, lower your head towards your knee. Circle your arms around you. We have two more sets just like that. Bring your leg overhead, cross and on cross. Begin to roll down, get straight into your teaser position, reach up. Flip your palms, elbows by your side, interlace your fingers behind you, release your head forward, circle your arms. Last time, make this one count, guys. Press into your palm, switch legs, roll down, activate your core, go up. Lift your palms, interlace your finger, open your chest even more, lower your feet, head towards the knee, and circle your arms and restack your spine. Great job, guys. I know this one is a tough one. So let's move on to our kneeling side kick. Extend your left leg by your side and kick it 
hip level, reach your arm by your ear. Now bend your knee, bend your elbow, connect them and extend. And again, knee to elbow and lengthen. Keep going like this. Make sure that you're not sinking in your right shoulder. So you're pressing the floor away. You're keeping active on your right oblique. Now you're gonna replace the hand on your hip and circle your leg forward and back. Your leg is tapping forward, creating a rainbow and tapping all the way back. Make sure that you're not arching your back so your core is engaged. Your leg is reaching in opposite position with the crown of your head. Great job, guys. And keep your leg now level with your hip. Bend your knee into your chest and extend. Bend and reach out. Push that imaginary wall with your heel. Great job. Grab onto your foot and now open your chest to the ceiling. Stretch your quads, stretch your abdominals. Take a deep breath here. Extend, reach your arms long by your side. Bend both knees and take a little breather here. And circle to the other side. Extend your right leg, left shoulder right above the wrist. And go ahead, elbow to knee, crunch and lengthen. And again. Plie the knee and reach out. Make sure that you're keeping the level of the foot with the hip and reaching, lengthening. Nice. Place the hand on the hip and now let's go for the rainbow. Tap in front, circle to the back and tap to the back. Making sure that your shoulders are staying stacked on top of one another. So don't bring the right shoulder forward. Keep your chest open as the leg is circling forward and all the way back. And now only plie the leg and extending with a flex foot. Bend your knee and reach, push out. And that's it, the core is very engaged, the glute is active. Grab your foot, stretch open your chest, Nice, put pressure into your hand and put pressure into your foot. And reach long by your side, circle your torso all the way forward. And now child's pose, reach your fingertips away from you and just take a deep breath, releasing your chest on top of your thigh. Reset your spine and let's move on into the lion walk and the all four side kick. Draw me into your all fours, curl your toes under, lift your knees. Now walk forward, opposite hand and opposite knee, and go backwards, just like that, keeping the level of your hips and shoulders, and walk back. Come back in the center, now twist towards me, and extend the bottom leg, tap it in front, and come up. That's it, keep going just like that, don't sink in your shoulder. Come back in your all fours and go to the other side, keeping your hips level. We're not dropping here. Only the toes are tapping in front and coming back hip level. That's it, beautiful. And come back center, release your knee on the mat. Take a little breather here in your child's pose. And we're moving on to the leg pull front. Go ahead into your plank position, lift one leg up, and now rock forward and back, forward and back. Try not to collapse. Don't let those hips go up. And now bend your knee towards your elbow and bring it back. And again, keep going like this. Reach to the elbow and lengthen. And go all the way down, push up. And cobra, open your chest to the front of the room. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up. Downward facing dog. And go back into your plank position. Now lift the other leg and rock forward and back. Go at your own pace. Keep your core engaged in this motion. Now bring your knee to your elbow and kick it back. Just like that, keeping the level of your shoulders and the level of your hips. And go ahead, push up all the way down. Shine your heart through as you're Stretch your abdominals, stretch your heart forward, curl your toes under, and go into your downward facing dog. We have one exercise left, guys. You almost did it. We have to finish working our arms, and then that's it for our 10 minutes full body workout. So let's go ahead into our reverse tabletop. 
knees open, hip distance apart, fingertips towards your hips. Lift your hips up and now bend your elbows and stretch your arms again. Great. Try not to dip your hips. So it's really the elbows that bring the motion of the torso going down and up, not the hips sinking in. That's it. And again, plie. Reach up and bend those elbows and go back up. We're almost done. It's the final push. You can do it, guys. And open your chest. Look to the ceiling. That's it. You did it. And take a big breath. And lower your hips on the mat with control. All right, everybody. Beautiful work today. I know it was an intense workout, so I'm very proud of you for finishing it. Please help me grow the channel, subscribe to it, smash the like button, and leave me a comment below. I hope to see you very soon for another workout. And in the meantime, take care of your body and have a beautiful day.